Niin. Eh. Eh. Hi! It's showtime. Hey everyone. Told you it'd be showtime soon. Yes, I've been gone for a while. Um, I'm working on other projects and I've been wanting to make better, more well-made videos and that caused me to not make videos. <laughs> so, uh, sorry about that. But that doesn't matter because today I'm here. And today I'll be talking to you about common VR chat terms. What does that mean? What does this mean? I don't understand what this word means, and I'm too scared to ask my friend. So, I'm gonna watch a video online instead. There's also gonna be a little bit about avatars. Uh, my next video I'll be making is a VRChat avatar buying guide, and so you'll kinda need to know some of the terms told in this video. Uh, you can check down there, there's a little, little thing. Oh, and I hope you like this new, uh, form of editing I've got going. Uh, it's just a big old green screen. I can slap whatever the fuck I want behind me. Uh, I've got a microphone in my hand, but you can't see that. Next video, you will be able to, I promise. But let's get into the, the words. One of the most common words that you'll hear is mirror dweller. What is a mirror, mirror dweller? Well, a mirror dweller is someone who spends all the time in front of a mirror in VR chat. World hopping is where one of your mates goes, hey, you wanna go world hopping? And you go, sure. Basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's where you'll just, you guys will just search for worlds, trying to find something cool, stay there for a while, then go and find another one. The goal, generally, just to find a cool world. Mutes, they're basically people that just don't talk. Some of them can't talk, literally, they just can't. Uh, but most of them you'll find are people that just don't want to, or maybe they're a little bit insecure, or maybe they just enjoy it. It is kind of nice just to go completely mute, and just kind of watch people. E-boys. Yeah, um, I'm sure you know what these are. These are just people that spend all their time online. It's like you meet them, in, if you ever meet them in real life, they'll be a completely different person. It's usually used as a bad term for someone like, oh yeah, it's fucking e-boys. They usually just wear real buff avatars and try and hit on every single person that sounds like a woman. Doesn't matter if they're actually a woman. Questy. A quest is someone who plays VR chat with a quest a quest headset. It's used in a negative term, usually because uh, lots of children get a quest too for, for example, Christmas, and then they come into VR chat and just be very annoying, very young sounding people that want attention. So they run up to me and call me the N word and then run away. <laughs> Desky, these are desktop users. These are people who are on desktop. Half body. This is someone who doesn't have legs. As you can see here, I can move my leg around and my hip. Someone who doesn't have that, but they do have a VR headset and they can move their hands around and their head. Full body, full body tracking, also known as FBT, is where someone has the legs and the hips. A cripple is someone who has full body tracking, but doesn't have it on currently for one reason or another. Fingies. Uh, fingies is a little bit less commonly used, but it's basically this where I can move my fingers individually because I've own a valve index. Uh, the controller is also known as the knuckles, but people like just to say fingies because you can move your fingers. Head pats. Um, you pat someone on the head. Uh, this is very common. Uh, it's kind of like instead of a head, like instead of a handshake in VR chat, you kind of give them a head pat. Avis is just an abbreviation of avatars, also known as models. You'll hear that quite often. RP, uh, this is just stands for roleplay. This is uh, pretty common in VR chat, uh, especially among like certain groups. So there's uh, like a SCP uh, RP group, but uh, basically it's just a form of roleplay. It's pretty cool actually. All right, ERP stands for erotic roleplay. Basically, it's two people find a person together. <laughs> All right, DP, uh, DPS, this is related to, uh, to ERP, uh, dance for Dynamic Penetration System. Uh, basically, there's a system designed in VR chat where you can put it on an, a hole and, an or and a uh, penetrator, so an orifice and a penetrator, and basically they will move to meet each other. Uh, Lovins. Uh, Lovins is the brand of long-ranged... Uh, how do I, how do I, fuck, how do I put this? Uh, fun toys. Yeah, you know, the other kind of toy that uh, someone else can control from across the entire planet. It's kind of, it's pretty cool. The term on red 
not on red as in reading, the color red, uh, is used for someone who's gone on to Do Not Disturb. Going away from that side of stuff, uh, we have Gang Monkeys. Uh, gang Monkeys is a very insulting term, as it fucking should be. <laughs> Some people wear it proudly on their chest, which you really shouldn't. Basically, it's VRChat gangs. Uh, there's VRChat gangs, and not like gangs of people, but like gang gangs, like bad people gangs. <laughs> if you see someone or hear someone talking about how they're a gang monkey, I suggest you block them immediately. Crashes, it directly rates to gang monkeys, as all gang monkeys are crashes. What's a crasher? A crasher is an avatar or a program that can crash a specific person, which, you know, will get, you have to restart VR chat, or it'll crash the entire lobby. Leakers. This is a real sore subject for me uh, as an avatar creator. Basically, a leaker is someone who will, for example, buy one of my avatars or one of my assets and then give it out to their people for free. So instead of the other person buying my stuff, they get it for free. So I miss out on a sale and this being my primary source of income, that's not very good. But yeah, that's leakers. Um, making my job a lot harder. Anyway, um, <laughs> back to the topic at hand. Oh, well, there goes my full body tracking. I'm, I'm now crippled. <laughs> Look at that. You're already using the words that you've learned. Uh, so this section of the video is dedicated to uh, avatar related stuff. So it's just common terms that you'll need to know before watching my next video that will be coming out soon after this one. Basically an avatar buying guide. All right, well, let's get into it. Triz slash poly count. This one is very common. Uh, it's also very important. Basically, uh, everything 3D uh, are made out of lots and lots of little triangles. Too many can really impact your uh, frame rate. Materials. This is how many little orbs that are on your avatar. Now, as this guy, as for an example, the one, this galaxy effect that's on everything is one material. His pants is one material. His glasses, like the actual, uh, like the lenses, one material. And the metal bit on the outside is one material. These two things you really need to have a look out for when buying stuff. Basically, MMD stands for Miku Miku Dance. Now, this is a program, has a bunch of inbuilt characters and it's used to make like dances, right? So like you'll build up a character have, and you'll have dances. Uh, what used to be very common in VRChat is people would get assets from that game, oh sorry, from that program and put it into VRChat and sell it. This is where the term TDA comes from. TDA is actually a person and that person made all the stuff from there and they have requested that you are not allowed to make a single cent off of anything they made. A TDA or uh, like MMD based stuff, do not buy it. That will be covered more extensively in my next video, which is the avatar buying guide. Uh, so I'm just gonna move on to the next thing for now. Game rips, basically, uh, things that have been ripped from games. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. So the last thing for today is brand names. Now, brand names is things like Nike, Off-White, um, McDonald's. <laughs> uh, another very common one is Playboy. Basically, it's anything that's an existing brand. But yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this new style of video. Uh, it takes a lot longer to edit, but it's a lot more fun. So I think it's worth it. And yeah, peace. Oh, fuck. Hello everyone, my name is Markiplier. <laughs> hey, my name is Markiplier. Bite of 87. <laughs> Can't believe that Manny is the victim of Bite of 87. <laughs>